It's a horrible feeling to have all of these symptoms of fatigue and headache and nausea and uh, the dizziness and slow thinking and memory problems and, and, and other symptoms. Chiropractic wasn't helping, you know, just anything I was trying, anything. And, and I've tried everything, and that is so frustrating not to get answers, not to, not to get relief. And I was having such difficulty because obviously the, the symptoms, the condition had been building. Three and a half years ago, I'm heading back from work and I'm entering a freeway and it's raining and the wipers are going and I'm on the curve coming onto the freeway and I about lost it because I, I, all of a sudden I realized my head is not making the turn and my eyes aren't following anything except maybe the wipers and I'm lost and it was frightening and I got myself home and I said to my wife I'm done driving she said, what? He knew that he was a danger on the road to himself and other people. When I would walk into one of these big box stores in the past few years, I would be so overwhelmed by everything. There's just so much to look at, so much to see, so much to navigate in space. At many times, I would just have to hang on to the cart and push straight ahead and not try to look at anything. Doctor told me there was nothing he could do. He could only refer me to a headache specialist where he said, I'm gonna write you off on disability. You can't do your work. I mean, I couldn't drive. I couldn't function as a pastor. Oh, that was devastating. It's, you know, I'm literally called to do ministry. The symptoms don't make sense to them because it, they're taught to look at everything medically rather than outside the box, you know? Most family doctors are aware that their patients have symptoms of headaches, but they might think it's the neurologist that they have to see with a medication. Most ear, nose, and throat doctors see dizzy patients, but they may think it's their inner ear that they need to help in order to resolve their dizziness. What's not really understood is how the eyes, when they're not in synchrony or coordination with each other can cause us to feel off balance, can cause us to have headaches. So it's a new understanding that those traditional symptoms of headaches and dizziness are emanating from misalignment of the eye. Well, small amounts of prism in, in either base up, base down, or any direction can really impact somebody in a very short period of time, which has never been taught before. What makes it easiest to identify this population is utilizing our powerful tool, which is the questionnaire. We call it the binocular vision dysfunction questionnaire. It has 25 questions, and when patients answer those questions, it will help us identify whether or not this is a vision condition that's causing their headaches, dizziness, and anxiety, for example. And so when I took the assessment, the, the assessment test online, uh, that gave me some answers right away. I had nothing to lose. You know, why not? My daughter brought us because I have trouble um, driving sometimes and definitely get more anxiety and heavy traffic and that was going to be a big issue coming this far through Chicago and Detroit. That it was a seven hour drive but we came for my dad and then ended up my mom and I having it as well, but it was, it was definitely worth it. Like one of my things was light sensitivity. I would not have been able to stand the lighting in this room earlier. And here I sit. I mean, I mean to the point of, I was wearing visors. I was, I, when I have to go outside, I wear, wore those old people goggle leg, you know, that cover your whole eyes and your glasses. At home, we keep the, the blinds shut because we can't stand the light, natural light coming in. It's that sensitive. And now I sit here and I, I can look up at those lights. We are really doing this in one visit. Um, it may take a couple to make them the best that we can make them, 
but the first visit alone, seeing them getting up and walk and being able not to be dizzy and teeter and, and being able to let them their headache be relieved is just amazing. It's just been amazing. Doubting Thomas walked in here and my skepticism only melted away fairly slowly and it was gradual. She put the lenses on. It was a miracle. I'm a new person. Now I can stand up and I don't feel dizzy. I can walk down a hall and I'm not watching the floor. But the prisms has made a big difference. It's been such a good week because we've gradually been peeling off our problems. Realized while we were going through the process, I thought, Brianne, you, you've had some of these similar things happen. I would get headaches, um, I would say at least once a week. Um, and sometimes they would just get so bad that I would just have to go lay down in a dark room and just sleep because it was just, it would just be like nauseating and like, I would just feel terrible. And so she heard what was going on with her father and then her mother and then a light bulb went off. And therefore she was uh, taken care of and she's doing really well. My life would have continued to have headaches and the dizziness and anxiety that I probably just would have continued to contribute to stress and the everyday of life, but it's a good thing that I came with and was able to come with. That's something that I experienced too. It was like I could sit up straighter. I could, when she asked me to get up because she wanted to see me walk again, I could just get right up, whereas I used to have to hold on and help myself up. It's like the imbalance, the dizziness, it's like, it's, it's like a miracle. And the symptoms that I came in with are just basically gone. Now, I'm finally walking into a store and I've, I've, I've almost forgotten what normal should feel like. Because I'm, I walk into this store and right away, the bright lights don't bother me. The commotion doesn't bother me. I can look at people because I can see them. I didn't realize I couldn't see. And it's just a shame that so many people in this country and around the world don't know about it. And there's gotta be other people out there that are being misdiagnosed and it's the whole reason I wanna share. Yes, I'm a pastor and uh, yes, I'll, I'll evangelize to a degree with anyone, but all I can do now is evangelize about this. I mean, this is so great. I just want everyone that needs to know to find out somehow. But for those with this set of symptoms who have this problem with their eyes, uh, it helps tremendously. For the first time in at least four years for me, probably longer for him, I have hope that my future is definitely going to be brighter than it was before I came. Thank you so much for recommending this. So I'm happy to hear that you are all, between the Reverend, yourself, and your daughter, it's not like all three of you are, are doing a heck of a lot better, and I'm so happy for you. I've gone years or months or whatever like this, and no one could help me, and now I have the help. But we are really changing people's lives. It just opens up the world to you again. So what makes Vision Specialists of Michigan different than other offices is that we're concerned not just with the clarity of vision at near and far distances, but also how do the two eyes coordinate one, with one another as a team. When they're not coordinated, when they're not in alignment with each other, patients will have symptoms of headaches, dizziness, anxiety, nausea, imbalance with walking. But it's such a relatively simple solution to such a complex and untreated problem. I can't believe it. You know, you just want to tell everyone.